Frontier just dropped a big announcement about the hotly anticipated update 13 arriving next week and at the same time released a ton of other details about how Horizons and Odyssey are going to work on the PC platform going forward. In this video we're breaking down everything we just learnt and how it affects things like future narrative going forward. To be sure not to miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe remembering to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you want to directly support the work of this channel you can also join our Patreon which you'll find linked in the video description below. Right off the bat then today Frontier announced that the much anticipated update 13 to the game will be dropping on Tuesday next week ...that's the 9th of August and whilst it will deliver the end of the Azimuth Saga they've also said it will mark the beginning of the next major chapter in the ongoing narrative of Elite Dangerous. The announcement however didn't stop there. It then went on to talk about the next phase of the games development across Horizons and Odyssey on PC. On the PC Horizons and Odyssey exist as two separate codebases what Frontier refers to as 3.8 and 4.0 ...Odyssey being 4.0. In real terms as far as players are concerned this means that Odyssey players see planets rendered differently and have access to changes to the interface and user experience. In the weeks following update 13 the plan is to update Horizons codebase to the Odyssey codebase of 4.0. This was touched upon in Frontiers update in March when they controversially announced they were suspending any further development on the consoles. In the announcement today Frontier have said that moving to the single codebase is essential to their need to modernise the way they deliver content to the game and ensure that a number of elements such as the interactive storyline continue to expand in both scope and quality. Whilst the upgrade to Odyssey itself will still be optional the upgrade to Horizons will be free to all PC Elite Dangerous players. As part of the upgrade Horizons players will receive the following. Updated graphics particularly planetary rendering. Odyssey's post release improvements ...they mentioned performance, graphics, user interface and user experience specifically. Additionally Horizons players will see Odyssey's planetary settlements on non atmospheric worlds. They will also have access to 4 player multi crew and importantly the new Scorpion SRV will be making its way to Horizons. Horizons players won't have access to tenuous atmospheric worlds or any on foot related gameplay ...that's to say station concourses, carrier interiors, on foot POIs or Odyssey's new rank progression through mercenary and exobiology. The announcement further states that delivering the best possible narrative content going forward will require Codebase 4.0 but Horizons players will still be able to witness the finale of the Azimuth Saga before the new Codebase option arrives. Going forward Horizons 4.0 Codebase players will have access to narrative content in the next phase except in cases where that content requires on foot gameplay and therefore the Odyssey expansion in order to experience it. The announcement was initially not met with completely universal applause. The terrain and engine changes that Odyssey introduces remain controversial in some quarters still with at least some users rigs unable to cope with the chunkier requirements that the expansion brings or others just not liking the stark changes to the way terrain is rendered in Odyssey. But Frontier have further clarified their announcements by saying that Codebase 3.8 will actually still be accessible for PC players for the moment. An undoubtedly smart move as it will allow those that are perhaps still nervous about Odyssey to test out its rendering and interface changes for themselves. And further they are gathering questions and feedback as a result of the announcement and will update the player base again with more answers soon. As soon as we have that we'll of course bring it to you. As far as next week is concerned then update 13 to Elite Dangerous drops on Tuesday the 8th of August. Whatever the end of the Azimuth Saga brings will be visible to everyone regardless of whether they're in Horizons or Odyssey. At some point in the coming weeks the option to start Horizons on the new codebase with Odyssey's enhancements and changes will become available. 
players will still be able to fire up Horizons on the old codebase at that point meaning Horizons will still look and behave the same as it does today for you if you so desire. Any new narrative going forward after that will require the new codebase however and some of that content will be Odyssey specific. If you're still playing in Horizons on the PC are you looking forward to trying out the Odyssey codebase? What are you expecting to see from Salvation next week? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.